Captain Ibrahim Troy, the newly declared head of state, is rapidly emerging as a symbol of hope and a beacon of change not only for Burkina Faso, but for the entire African continent. In an era when many leaders are criticized for their lack of vision and impact, Troy stands out for his deep understanding of his nation's complex realities and his resolute commitment to redirecting its future. Unlike many of his counterparts, who invest in less impactful endeavors, Troy is focused on delivering tangible improvements to his country's trajectory. Historically, Burkina Faso's voice was barely heard on the global stage. However, since Troy's ascension, the nation's influence has surged, resonating far beyond its borders. Today, Burkina Faso is garnering international attention due to the unwavering dedication of its transitional authorities. These leaders are working relentlessly to rejuvenate the country and establish it as a shining example of progress and potential. Under Chora's leadership, the transitional government is firmly committed to restoring peace, stability, and sustainable development. This commitment has translated into significant and positive changes across various sectors. The impact of these initiatives is profound. What stands out is the dramatic shift in the global perception of Burkina Faso, a country once seen as unstable and precarious. The boldness, determination, and patriotism of Traoré and his team have illuminated Burkina Faso in a new, revitalized light, showcasing the resilience and potential inherent in Africa. This transformation has inspired admiration and curiosity worldwide, drawing attention from investors and tourists alike. The fear of investing in Burkina Faso has significantly diminished, replaced by a newfound enthusiasm to engage with this emerging market. To truly appreciate the strides made under President Traoré, one must highlight seven pivotal achievements that underscore his leadership and vision. These accomplishments have led to widespread support among the populace, with many citizens advocating for an extension of Traoré's transitional period through peaceful protests. Trora's political ideology is marked by a pragmatic approach to problem-solving. One significant issue he identified was Burkina Faso's role as a major gold supplier without a domestic refinery. Recognizing the economic drawbacks of exporting raw gold, he initiated the construction of a gold refinery. This move is expected to create substantial employment opportunities and bolster the nation's economic prosperity. Furthermore, Trora has addressed another paradox, the export of tomatoes while importing tomato paste. To rectify this, he spearheaded the establishment of a tomato processing plant, aiming to diversify food products, create jobs, and strengthen food security. His commitment to improving essential services is also evident in his plans to construct an $80 million state-of-the-art health facility. This investment underscores his dedication to the well-being of his citizens and the provision of quality health care. These achievements highlight Trora's visionary leadership and his steadfast commitment to transforming Burkina Faso into a thriving nation. The positive impact of his initiatives resonates both within the country and on a global scale, positioning Burkina Faso as an appealing destination for investment and tourism. Notably, Trora has emphasized the importance of collaborating with the private sector for these initiatives, recognizing the inefficiencies of sole government involvement. Amidst this backdrop of reform, Burkina Faso is also grappling with internal challenges. The government has called for calm following a mutiny by soldiers demanding greater support in their fight against Islamist militants and the resignation of military leaders. Hundreds of protesters have rallied in the capital, Ouagadougou, to express their support for the mutineers. In his New Year's address, President Traoré outlined ambitious initiatives for 2024, including the establishment of a rapid intervention brigade efforts to achieve food self-sufficiency, and a crackdown on corruption. Trora's determination to confront entrenched interests and drive progress is evident in his ambitious plans for the coming year. Some large-scale projects are already underway, with notable successes including the construction of the new Oagadougou Airport. This project, initially conceived during the tenure of former leader Rope Mark Christian Cabaret, underwent significant revisions under Trora's leadership. He scrutinized the original agreement with the French company Meridian, uncovering discrepancies related to taxation and legal provisions. Trora took decisive action by annulling the agreement and redistributing construction contracts among different companies. Once completed, the new airport will replace the aging Ouagadougou International Airport, featuring a 3 km runway and a 177,000-square-meter terminal projected to handle up to 1 million passengers annually.
This development will enhance transportation connectivity and drive economic growth. Another significant initiative under Tora's leadership is the modernization of Burkina Faso's road network. The administration has successfully completed over 70 kilometers of new roads with ongoing construction efforts to further improve the country's transportation infrastructure. This plan includes developing bridges for river crossings and transforming gravel roads into paved surfaces. The positive impact of these efforts is deeply felt by local populations, improving transportation efficiency and opening up opportunities for economic development. In addition to infrastructure and security improvements, Trora is spearheading an ambitious agricultural and rural development project. The government is focused on strengthening agricultural production and addressing food insecurity. The AGR Pastoral Offensive, which includes deploying 400 tractors to assist farmers, aims to boost agricultural yields and create employment opportunities. This initiative is seen as a beacon of hope for the future of agriculture in Burkina Faso. President Traore has also embarked on a groundbreaking project, the construction of a nuclear power plant. This endeavor highlights his commitment to exploring alternative energy sources and ensuring a sustainable future for Burkina Faso. As one of the least electrified nations globally, with only 21% of the population having access to power, Burkina Faso's agreement with Russia for a nuclear power plant represents a significant step forward. The plant is expected to improve electricity access and support the energy needs of neighboring countries as well. The ambitious targets include achieving 95% electrification in urban areas and 50% in rural areas by 2030. While the construction timeline is still pending, this project holds immense potential for transforming Burkina Faso's energy landscape and uplifting its citizens. President Ibrahim Tora's visionary leadership is driving an unprecedented transformation in Burkina Faso. His commitment to bold and strategic projects is not only addressing critical challenges, but also positioning the country as a rising star on the global stage. By focusing on practical solutions, such as building a gold refinery, improving agricultural production, modernizing infrastructure, and investing in healthcare and energy Traore is making significant strides in revitalizing Burkina Faso. These efforts are transforming the nation's image from one of instability to a beacon of progress and potential. The remarkable achievements under Torah's leadership have caught the world's attention, generating widespread admiration and curiosity. Burkina Faso is now seen as a model of positive change and opportunity, inspiring hope across the African continent and beyond. The increased interest from investors and tourists reflects the growing confidence in Burkina Faso's future. Trora's ability to tackle long-standing issues with innovative solutions is setting a new standard for leadership in Africa. His administration's dedication to enhancing the country's infrastructure, economy, and social services demonstrates a forward-thinking approach that could serve as a blueprint for other nations. As Burkina Faso continues to make headlines for its transformative journey, we invite you to share your thoughts and feedback on these significant developments. Your insights are valuable as we witness the unfolding of this new era of hope and opportunity for Burkina Faso and the broader African continent.